for right now. You should just walk away from the sport. Because, it, you know, it's, it, it's at some point where we got to stop acting. And he's 38 years old, or about to be 38. It's at some point where we got to stop acting so much of these war You know, they give so much of their heart and soul. I know I go in on Floyd Mayweather, but the man works hard. He earned his money the hardest way you can earn your money as far as earning money. He earned his, his money in the ring. And that's that's the most, to me, that's the hardest way you're going to earn money. It's fighting. Because your heart is out there. Your soul is out there. You're just bearing everything in front of everybody. And then, you know, we as, as fans and analysts and judges, we, we, you know, if you don't do good in the ring, like say for instance, a fighter loses, then we step on your heart even more by saying, oh, he's a bum. And that's another thing. I'm going to stop referring to fighters as bums. No fighters are bums, man. These guys are do things and are willing to risk their lives because guess what? Your life is on the your life is on the line when you when you walk in the ring. Your life is on the line. So I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna disrespect the fighter and call him a bum. You know, because fighting is the ultimate warrior sport. And you ask me to go to war. You're going to war in there. Like when I hear a football player or a basketball player or a tennis player, if I hear a tennis player, a basketball player, or a football player ever say they're going to war, it's not really war, but boxing, that's a war, man. You, that's, that's a real life war played in front of a lot of people, you know, either it, inside the arena or watching on TV. And we quick to say, oh man, he's a bum, he got knocked out, man. Yeah, but look, the guy went in there and did it. He put his heart out there. He put his soul out there. He gave you entertainment. The least you can do is acknowledge the guy as a warrior that went out there and did his thing. So when I call Marcus Maidana a bum, I was totally wrong for calling him a bum. He is not a bum. The guy is a warrior. I tip my hat off to Marcus Maidana, and I got to tip my hat off to a lot of fighters. I tip my hat off to Manny Pacquiao, Martinez, I don't care that he lost to uh, Cotto. I tip my um, hat off to Cotto for being a warrior. Floyd Mayweather for being a warrior. I tip my hat off to Muhammad Ali. A lot, all these guys, all them guys that box, that laced up gloves, that went in the ring, tip my hat off to them. It's just some, it, it, okay, it's, some was not better than others. Okay, that's that's fine. But they were they all warriors. All of them. The label is warrior, and they all warriors. Now you can dissect whatever you want to dissect after that. After that, but acknowledge them as being warriors. Give them that much respect. Uh, so this is this is um boxing talk. Um, just giving the other side of the coin on fighters that you know give it they all in some state too long it should just be it should be more of a watchful eye over fighters especially fighters that get knocked out like like Manny Pacquiao when he got knocked out against Marquez I believe he didn't fight for eight months up to I think it was like eight or nine months maybe eight or nine months but getting knocked out like that unconscious to where you're not moving for a couple minutes that should be like an automatic year out of boxing a year like a year with no contact you can't even go to the gym. You banned from even going to the gym. You have to neurologically get examined. They have to look at your brain and, and give you like a, a lot of tests before you even walk back in the ring because a small brain bleed can become a big brain bleed and then you just got massive problems. You know, massive, massive problems. So uh, boxing needs to look after the fighters, man. They just need to look after the, after the after their warriors. I mean, they just need to do a better job. In my opinion, they're not doing a, a really a really great job. You know, and the people around them need to do a, a a good job of looking after the fighter. I mean, you know, I know it's a lot of leeches and there's a lot of yes men around the fighters. You know, the manager is there, the promoter is there. Um, usually a fighter is close to his close to his manager. You know, so the manager is going to make money off the um, fighter. I was looking at a documentary earlier where Shannon Briggs was coming up and his manager was a former New York newspaper writer. And he was saying how 
if Shannon Briggs makes a million dollars, he's going to make a mi millions of dollars. If Shannon Briggs make this much money, he's going to make a lot of money because he was investing a lot of money into Shannon Briggs, which is true. They do. Some 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 managers invest a lot of money into these fighters. He said that uh, he was investing. Uh, he By the time Shannon Briggs fight for a title or what a, a heavyweight title, he would have been a, um, invested like seven figures in Shannon Briggs. And then that's when the payoff come when um, Shannon Briggs, you know, win the heavyweight title. But if Shannon Briggs don't win the heavyweight title, then, you know, he don't make anything. He just, he, he lost. So the managers do take a risk by putting the money up. But they need to look after the fighters too, man. They need to look at the fighters' well-being. They need to tell uh, after the fighters' well-being. They should tell they should tell a fighter when it's over or, you know, you don't have it anymore. You look slow in there, you know, like. The um, Angelo, Angelo Dundee, they even seen that Muhammad Ali was slowing down. But they said that, you know, it's ultimately the fighter's decision, which it is. It's ultimately the fighter's decision. But you as a guy that he that he, that he trusts, that been there from the beginning, you should be able... He may listen to you. So instead of saying it's his, it's his decision and you don't want to step on his toes and say anything, I think you should say... I think you still should say something. And then from that point, it's his choice. You... As a friend, at least said something. And maybe when you say something, maybe he will think about it. And maybe he will take your advice. So you never know. So at least say something. But, um, yeah, and he, and he was getting back to the, Chan, the Shannon Briggs thing. Um, he Shannon Briggs was like 20 years old. He said there was a lot of uh, managers out there uh, uh, drooling over Shannon Briggs' potential. And everybody was trying to get him, but he, he ended up with him. And, you know, he was talking about how he had a matchmaker looking for Shannon Briggs opponents. You know, of course, they're going to be, quote unquote, not that good. And they're supposed to be opponents coming in there to lose um, as long as they're not 65 and they're breathing. They're a good opponent. And he said that's the dark side of boxing when you finding opponents because opponents are supposed to lose. So you finding them to lose. So. Uh, he was given some insight and gave me some insight on, you know, some the back the back door things that they do in boxing. Um, he said that all, you know, all promoters are basically scumbags. Just some go further than others. It's like, you know, cannibals sitting at the table and, you know, trying to say, well, you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't do that. But we all cannibals. So. It's just boxing is just one of those sports, one of those nasty, di dirty down sports that is 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 real too. Is 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 very very real. Um, these these opponents that they find actually are guys that usually the guys are not in shape. <laughs> the guys are old. The guys are washed up. They know the guys are washed up. They just need the guy to get in there and make their fighter look good. But um, that's the other side of the sport, man. You know what I'm saying? Just leave your comments below. You know, let me let me know what you think. This is Boxing Talk 8576. I'm out.